What's up guys, this is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video regarding Transformers The Last Night. In today's news, it's pretty darn interesting because, well, Hasbro, Paramount, Transformers, whatever you guys want to call them, they release a very, very interesting video and I gotta say, it was something I did not expect and it pretty much gives us an idea of what Transformers The Last Night is going to be about in which we already know what it's going to be about you know it's going to connect with the past and all that and explain the origin of the transformers but this video they release calling it rethink the past it's very very mysterious and dark and morbid not too dark but you know it gives you that sense of suspense and why are the transformers and it really gives you the thought of how long have the transformers been on earth well guys the video i'm about to show you right now pretty much answers that question that transformers have been on earth for so long is actually kind of outrageous so we're going to watch this video right now we're going to open it up on youtube of course and we're going to obviously take a look at it so i'm going to adjust the volume just a tad bit so you guys will be able to hear me guys let's check this out right now do you guys see what's going on For a thousand years we've kept it hidden, the secret history of Transformers. Let's watch this one more time so you guys can have another look. One more time. It's only 22 seconds. Behind every battle. Behind every victory. For a thousand years we've kept it hidden, the secret history of Transformers. Alright, so yeah, you guys get the basis of the video right here. The Transformers guys have been on Earth for a long time. Like, an absolute long time if you guys think about it. And it's actually kind of crazy on how long they've been on Earth. I mean, let's check out each of these images right now, okay? Let's look at them right now. My English was horrible, by the way. Okay, so let's look at these images. Right here, as you guys can clearly see to the left, there's a Transformer with some horses and soldiers i believe i can't really tell who they are but on the left we see a transformer and that transformer is obviously hound as you guys can already tell hound has the little spiral of bullets going around his arms and you guys can clearly see it right here this is hound so are they indicating that hound has been on earth longer than we have suspected i mean this is i want to assume this is during world war one and hound since he's a perfect representation of a World War soldier. I want to say that he got most of his looks from World War I with the humans and all of that because clearly we see Hound in here and he's participating in this rally or whatever you guys want to call it and it's very interesting because it makes you think how long have the Transformers been on Earth? So let's continue on. Alright, so that's Hound right there. We see... I can't really tell who that is. Let's move up a bit. Okay. So apparently there, there's been talks that this is the World War I tank that we've seen on set before. So maybe this is just a flashback scene of the World War I tank with Sir Anthony Hopkins' character explaining to Cade Yeager and Vivian and the whole aspect and the whole history of the Transformers, the origins of them. And he probably shows up like some clips and these are probably some of the clips he shows them indicating that the Transformers have been here longer than we have suspected. As well as this also takes reference from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Now when I say this, can you guys recall that in Revenge of the Fallen, remember Agent Simmons told Sam with Wiki and Michaela and Leo, he told everyone that the Transformers have been here for a long, long time. And this is pretty much what he's saying right here. The Transformers have been on Earth for so long, guys, for a long time. And it really makes you wonder, why are they constantly coming back to Earth? Hopefully, the last night will answer that. But it's pretty, it's pretty uh, suspenseful and spooky, at least in my opinion. But let's go on. Okay. Behind every victory, we see Hound's face to the right once more. Let's go back a bit. I'm just trying to take a good screen. God dang, I suck at this. Holy. You see Hound right there. He's on the American flag poster. 
because you know he's a World War soldier, representation of a World War soldier. So let's go on. Bumblebee right here. This is obviously Bumblebee. How is this possible? I mean, there obviously there is something they're not telling us because Bumblebee came to Earth in Transformers 1. Hello? Then again, we don't necessarily see Bumblebee crash. We don't really see him crash and all that. I can't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't I don't think we see Bumblebee crash. I think we just see him on Earth and he's just scouting and chilling out with the crew and everyone else crashes on Earth. So you know, it still makes me wonder how's Bumblebee back here if most of the Transformers crashed onto Earth during the first movie back in two thousand seven. So uh, pretty mysterious. And you know, I don't know what type of war era this is as well, but Clearly he has a different vehicle, obviously. He looks like an armored car or armored truck, I can't really tell, but let's go on. We see Hound again. Starscream. We see Starscream. Now, I do not know how Starscream, I don't, I don't know how long Starscream has been on Earth, but this is pretty much it right here. Um, he's looking at some fighter jets or telling the humans to make some fighter airplanes, whatever. I don't know, but looks like Starscream is being the menacing guy as he always is of course and he looks like he's commanding things so that's pretty uh pretty interesting we see two samurais one is obviously drift drift is to the right but I can't really tell who's on the left though so let's try to rewind that back just a tad bit more all right so you guys can clearly see the face on the left not too clear but you know you guys can have an idea of what this face is so as you guys can see right here this is pretty much an alternate version of Drift, and I want to assume that this must have been a close comrade or brother of Drift. I'm not so sure. I'm just saying random stuff. But here they are with the Imperial Army in Japan during the World War One era and World War Two era, and you know they're just next to each other, and that's probably where Drift incorporated his Japanese designs and samurai designs into his actual Transformer self. We see Starscream once again, a close up. And we see Ironhide to the right. Do you guys see Ironhide to the right? Right there? Guys, how is this possible? Ironhide crashed on Earth in 2007. How is this possible? How long have the Transformers been on Earth? I really want to know now. It's actually sparking up a lot of ideas in my head because I really want to know how they going to, how are they going to explain this? First and foremost, as well as will the explanation be good and will it make sense it has to make sense because i don't know man these transformers they crashed on earth so are they pretty much telling us that they left earth and they came back to earth i don't know it, it sounds it sounds a bit crazy it sounds a bit crazy so let's go on a bit and who is that right there i cannot tell who that is i don't know who that is i i, I honestly don't know but maybe you guys can tell me who it is Hopefully you guys can have some thoughts and ideas of who this may be, but yeah guys, this video regardless is pretty darn mysterious as you guys can look in the comment section. There are a lot of talks going on in terms of what's going on with this movie as well as the origin of the Transformers and it makes it so exciting because it gets us Transformers fans, us Transformers community to spark up and speculate what's going to be happening with this movie and it makes us extremely active and I'm pretty sure this is what Hasbro and Paramount wanted all along to spark up the Transformers community once again. I just surely hope that this will continue on for a while because when Transformers die down, my spirit dies down honestly. So this is pretty darn awesome. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I will make sure I will leave all links inside the description as well so you guys will be able to check it out yourselves. Remember to comment below because I want to discuss this with you guys considering there are a lot of speculation things happening. So thank you guys for watching once more though. This is Sorry Jordan here. Peace, late, and feel free to leave us like, comment, or subscribe if you feel like you enjoy my content. With that being said though guys, I'm out and have a lovely, awesome, splendid day.